So I want you to talk through Chris Coons because he hasn't been in, in the Senate for like uh, that long, right? I mean, almost a decade. Uh, yeah, there's certainly years. people who've been there longer, but um, it's more than just Medicare for all with Chris Coons. He's not adequately re representing the people of Delaware. Can you talk through some of what you think are his biggest failings? Yeah. The one that I always start with is siding with corporate interests over the needs of Delawareans. And we can see this over and over. He, we just, you just talked about the influence of insurance and pharmaceutical companies. He takes the second most amount of money from pharmaceutical companies, second only to Mitch McConnell. And you see it in the policy that he pushes forward. He opposes things like Medicare for all. He opposed the Klobuchar Sanders bill to import drugs to lower drug prices. He has championed bills that would actually allow pharmaceutical companies to strengthen and protect weak patents so that they could keep generics off the market and can and protect their profits. So he is working in favor of these corporate interests. Another one that is incredibly kind of local to Delaware, but important here is the work that he's done to help the chicken farmers that are in our state. So that is something about Delaware. There's like more chickens than people and there's chicken processing plants in our state. And they are the, 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 Heads of those companies are very large donors to the National Chicken Council. The National Chicken Council is a very large donor to Chris Coons. And he has voted to allow those chicken processing plants to not report their air emissions. These are plants that were actively poisoning the water of the residents who live around the plants. There are now hundreds of residents who can't use their wells because they have been poisoned by this corporation. And yet our senator is not standing with those people. He's standing with the corporation and allowing them to continue that that um, poisoning behavior and standing and not you know fighting back against the fact that they are also working to decertify a union right now. And he hasn't returned the money that he's given them. He hasn't stood up and said, you know, you need to stop this poisoning of our environment. He did show up at a union rally, but you can't play both sides here because whenever his, these corporate Democrats have historically played both sides, it always ends up being working people who end up losing out. So the, the votes are one big problem. The legislation that he puts forward is one big problem. Another is the way that he has helped Trump enact his agenda. And this one is mystifying because he will go on MSNBC and Fox News and all of these TV stations and he'll talk about how concerning and dangerous Donald Trump is, but he will vote for over 120 of the judges that Trump has worked to put on our judiciary. These are extreme judges who are uniquely young, uniquely partisan, Federalist Society judges who will be on the court for the rest of my life. They are outwardly anti-choice. They are outwardly anti-civil rights. They were outwardly anti the ACA, which the senator purports to support. So how are you making those votes? How are you voting to confirm Alex Azar, a drug company executive, to lead Health and Human Services, who right now, you'll notice, is failing in our public health response to a pandemic, and you championed him. He went and dr like he drummed up votes for Alex Azar. And why is that? Because he was the executive at Eli Lilly, who is a massive donor to Chris Coons. So I see someone who is failing to represent Delaware and work in their best interest. And it's time that we need to get someone in there who is centering the needs of people in our state. Yeah, I'm so glad you said all of that just beautifully. I mean, the representation that we're getting from a lot of corporate Democrats, it's just it's ho it's hollow. I mean, you get the rhetoric. Sometimes they'll say the right thing, but their actions they don't line up exactly. with the rhetoric. And now it's not necessarily just about rhetoric. I mean, it's they, they'll say things like, oh, well, healthcare is a right. But then they say I that's why I was just going to say that. Yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> that drives <laughs> right. me nuts. I will tell you yeah. that gets under my skin unlike anything else.